king Mutara III Rudahigo was the 27th and the second last king of Rwanda. He was the first born among 43 kids of his father, Yuhi IV Musinga, and today classified among the Imena category heroes. Born from Musinga IV, Yuhi, and Kanghazi Kambanzavigui in March 1911, Rudahigo died at 48 years of age in mysterious circumstances when Rwanda was in a difficult political situation. In his adolescence, Rodahigo attended the current Group Scolaire Butare, at that time referred to as Group Scolaire de la Charité, named after its founders who were the Charity Brothers. After graduation, he became the assistant to his father. Rodahigo was the first to say that he was the first to say that he was the first to say that he was the first to the first to say that he was the first to say that muri ryo totezwa rya musinga we yahise mu kuza kumuba hafi no kumwandikira kumugisha kwandika kumusemurira nibindi nkebyo barakorana kuva muri 2024 kugira muri na karindwe at 18 years of age in 1929 he became the sub chief of ndiza current mohanga district that is the time when his father was combating belgians as they were trying to decrease his powers the Belgians also assigned him in the area to separate him from his father and to take him closer to Kabgai, the office of the colonial residency. In that tough political situation, his father was chased to DRC and he was crowned a king on November 16, 1931. But why did he allow that to happen? Why didn't he fight for his father? <laughs> We record Rwanda kuko byibura abanyarwanda bazagenda bamenyera bari abantu ari kuhari uri hagati yabombe One year after his reign identity cards demonstrating ethnicity were established but he strongly opposed them which marked the start of his battle against the Belgians In that icy political environment he carried out another range of positive reforms Icyambere yabashije kuvuga no gukura ho icyo bita ikiboko gukora abantu bo kubitwa niyo noho rero guhera mu 1905 rudahi go tangira inkunduro cyo gushaka kwiburezi gutera imbere abana b'i Rwanda bakiga ikintu yakoze cyambere yashyizeho ikigega bitaga form mutara cyo guteza imbere uburezi muri uwo mwaka ni nabwo yashinze ishuri ribanza ry'abayisilamu aho bita ku ntwari hari inyamirambo mu murenge wa warweza amenyo Ijumbe magana cyenda mirongo itanu na kane nibwo rudahigwa noneho yakoze akaminura muhini akuraho ubuhaki The 48 year old at his death is also credited for different other innovations Apart from the ones listed above he also built a storage facility for the Rwanda producing Nyanza district called Kubijega a milk production diary to develop local breeders and an artificial lake to provide employment opportunities in fishing which are all still existent to date hari ngero nyinshi zagiye zigaragara mu mateka y'igihe ke nk'igihe cya kinzara hari harateye inzara no washizeho uburyo bwo kugira ngo abantu babakene bwo gusonza uburyo bwo kubagaburira he died on 25th July 1959 in mysterious circumstances, going to Burundi to take a test and travel to the US in his quest to seek for national independence. Ludo De Witt, a Belgian author, has conducted in-depth researches and published two books on the deaths of Prince Louis Guagasore, the Burundian prince, and Emery Patrice Lumumba, the ex-Congolese prime minister. Rwandan activists, wonder why he can't conduct the same research on the real cause of Rudahigwa's death which remains mysterious up to death.